In this lesson, you will learn how to verbally and visually represent a division equation. Before we solve any problems, let's talk a little bit about the relationship between multiplication and division. Multiplication is a way to find the total. If you have groups that contain an equal number, you can multiply these two numbers to find the total in all. So the number of groups times the number in each group equals the total. Division is in a way, a reversed way of looking at multiplication. Let me show you what I mean by that. In a multiplication sentence, you find the total. In a division sentence, you start with the total, and in this case, divide it by the number of groups to find the number in each group. There's also a second way you can think about a division sentence, and let me write that for you. You could also divide the total by the number in each group, and that division sentence solves for the number of groups. Now, you can write the division sentence or think of the division sentence either way, but there are some important key terms to know when you go to write a division sentence that we can label some of these terms, and I will write them in for you. The number that you divide is called the dividend. The dividend is also the total. The number you divide by is the divisor. And the answer you get when you divide two numbers is called the quotient. Great, now let's solve a problem together. Identify the dividend, divisor, and quotient. Then show the division using a model. The division sentence you have is 32 divided by 8 equals 4. To start identifying these terms in the division sentence, remember what you just learned. The number that you divide is the dividend. The number you divide by is called the divisor. And the answer you get when you divide two numbers is called the quotient. So here 32 is the dividend, 8 is the divisor, and 4 is the quotient. Now let's draw a model that represents this division sentence. To draw the model, remember that you can think of division as a total number divided into a number of groups and then the answer you get is the number in each group, which means that the model needs to have a total of 32, and there needs to be eight groups, and each of these eight groups needs to have four. Let me go ahead and draw that model. I will draw 32 counters divided into eight groups with four in each group. This model shows 32 counters in all, and there are eight groups, so let's just count this. Each row represents a group. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight groups, and each group has four. One, two, three, four. You can also double check and make sure that this model definitely has 32 by using multiplication. Remember, you multiply the number of groups by the number in each group to find the total, so let's just double check. Number of groups is eight, number in each group is four, and eight times four equals 32. In this lesson, you have learned how to verbally and visually represent a division equation.